Diamond Joe back with another video. In this video, we're gonna be going over my lockdown build. So if you guys are looking for a big lockdown build, like over the size 6766, six, six, this will be the video for you guys. So I came out late with this build because I've been grinding, lapping the game, trying to see what's really the best lockdown build and what really can do everything. And this build has everything. It has playmaking, defense, rebounding, block. It can just do everything. Steal in the lanes. Max wingspan, he can shoot with a low three-pointer, which a lot of people think you can in this game because shooting was so hard, but it can do everything. So first, we're gonna start off, it's a custom build. I always use left hand, put all your credentials and all your stuff, put all that stuff in there. Right? Always left hand, in any year, always use left hand. I think better shooters are left handed. I just like left hand, I think it's just better. So, big left hand. So we're gonna go into this build, make him a small board. I know a lot of lockdowns, um, they like to have a yeah, point guard, but I always do small, I always do small forwards so I don't mess up the icons. So if you're not trying to mess up the icons, just do small forward. It'll put you straight at X. So height, you want to make your height 6'8". Always make your height 6'8 for this build, for this particular build. I feel like in, when on 6'8", you can do way more. And um, you can just do a lot more, use more attributes. Like on a 6'7", 6'6", you can't get playmaking or you're going to lose out on something. There's always something you're going to lose out on those builds. So that's why I picked this build to you. We're gonna go down uh, 188. A lot of lockdowns want their lockdowns to be 250 and 255 and these big, big like lockdowns, like beefy, buffy lockdowns, so you don't have to do that. A lot of guys did that for the strength. As, they, as you can see on this build, I get a 71 strength, so I don't have to do that. I don't need that 250, whatever. I still get immovable forcer on bronze, which is good enough for me. And what I'm playing, I'm playing against little short point guards. So in pro-am and stuff like that competitively. So I don't need the biggest or strongest guy, you know? So max wingspan, seven, six. Uh, for this build, you're using max wingspan. Since it is max wingspan, your three-pointer is gonna be lower. So that's something you got to count in or write down, you know, cause your wingspan is gonna be lower. We're going into the build now. Um, I'm not gonna go through all this and like recheck it or redo it, but this is the build basically. Uh, you guys can just take a screenshot, uh, do whatever you want to build. Um, pause the video, get to pause the video, add all this. So as you can see, we're gonna start off with the close shot. Close shot 44, drive the layup to 64. So like, you can still get a bucket with this build. I'm trying to tell you, you can still get a buck. I'm trying to tell you. So, 84 driving dunk is good enough for me. I mean, 84 last year was great for me, so I'll still use the 84 driving dunk. Standing dunk 30, it's crazy. Y'all probably say, why don't you have a build with standing dunk? Why do you have low standing dunk? Because I don't need a high ass standing dunk to do what I gotta do, you know? I can still hoop, do what I gotta do with 30. It still gives me a lot of contact standing dunk animation. So I can still do what I gotta do, you know? Mid range shot at 65, three point shot at 78. Uh, pass accuracy 75 so I can touch pass it, which is a very important badge in this game. Uh, let's go down. Let's talk about this three pointer because I hear a lot of questions like 78 three pointer is enough. Will I, have, will I shoot consistently? Will I still go to shoot 60%? Will I still be able to shoot and hoop? Yes, I shoot 60% of the park, 60% 350 pro am, and I shoot very good some games of pro am 5v5 in tournaments. So I would like to say I have a blick. I can shoot the ball. Like, I'm a really good shooter. With 6 to 78, I don't have an 80, I don't have an 82, I don't have an 83, I have a 78 three point. So, if you guys are trying to find something like this, low shooting, you still get everything. This is it, 78 pool. I got 65 mid, 75 free throws, good enough for me to get white free throws. Because apparently I can't bring free throws in this game at lockdown, I don't know what it is. But like, this green is not on my side. Like I said, 75 pass accuracy, which is good pass accuracy if you're trying to um, touch pass or you're trying to not get your pass stolen, you get break starter, diver, and better you don't get a lay pass or touch patch or special delivery that's somewhat all you need as you see here we got the ball handle and we got the speed ball 70 and 70 most lockdown builds you see are not going to have a 70 and 70 most lockdown builds you see around this time they're just not going to make them the court that's just being pure honest like they're not they're not, they're not making up the court up to me they're not going to so that's it you got both though you got an option you got 70 and 70 and you get a lot of badges blow by hyper drive you get a lot of badges so I recommend keep doing it like this and keeping it 70 70. Interior defense, I have a 66 interior defense, 96 perimeter defense, 95 steel, 78 block, and a 51 defense rebound. So, like I said before, guys, this 51 defense rebound and 78 block. 
Like, I know you guys might think, why don't you have a rebound? Why is the rebound high? You're a six eight. I'm a lockdown. I'm not guarding the center. I'm not boxing out. I'm just playing perimeter defense. I'm stopping the point guard from shooting. I'm getting in his face, contesting perimeter shot. I'm nowhere near the rim for a rebound. I'm gonna box out. So I just thought I would just get my interior defense, my perimeter, my steal, my block. That's all the stuff I need to stop a guard. If you're trying to go paint or if you're trying to shoot perimeter shot for me. That's all I need. I don't need rebounding. I'm not gonna be down there jumping with the seven foot three centers. I'm not gonna be down there jumping with the Yao Mings of the world. I'm gonna be down there. Not even down there at all. I call a rotation on Pro Am 55 in the corner, or reverse, or stack. I'm gone. I'm not staying there, so I don't need that, you know? So, um, speed, I use uh, 83 on this build. That's the max you can get. That's the best I thought. You know, that's the best I thought I can get on this build for sure. That is the best because, like, it's a 6 8. You're not going to have an 88 speed like these 6 8 3 6 7s. That would be the biggest downfall of this build is speed. Like, you're not going to have crazy speed on you. So going into this, you got to know that you're not going to have no crazy speed or crazy attributes as far as acceleration speed. But in it, I, I be moving on this build now. I don't think I'm slow. I'll be out there moving like I got a 90 speed on a 6.8. So I'll be getting the rotations, often passes from 30 miles away. I'll be going crazy. So the vertical 75, stamina 99. So when you guys are looking at this, I mean, this is good enough. I have 99 stam, I think, so I get Workhorse Hall of Fame. And those days, and I get 90 for P Hall back. So for a lockdown, I need to press the ball, and you see what that does. Allows defenders to harass other ball handlers. That court, that's 90 for P. I need that as a lockdown. I want to press, I want to harass the guard of the court. That's what I need as a lockdown. So we're going to go past this. I want you guys to screenshot this, do whatever you got to do, pause the video, and get this build down. This is going to be the build that you can use for the whole year. You can get away with this build for the whole year. The only downfall would say if you are a professional player or you play a lot of tournaments and threes, or you're a stage content creator or a stage player that needs to play tournaments, do not make this build. Because this build is banned at lockdown in every stage tournament I've seen. Except for the 2K League tournaments, 3v3 tournaments that are have there's no requirements, there's no like specific cases that you can't do in there. So you can go in there with your cheesy 6 a or whatever you want. But this is only a build for Pro Am and you're trying to play casual park, or you're just trying to play 10K for fun. This is not a build to go in and 3v3 stage tournaments and you're gonna get banned at those stage rooms. You can't go in with six eight. It's considered invalid. Even though if I did want to go here with six eight, I have to talk to him and ask him. This is build obviously you see no rebound. This is not a build that's gonna go in there and dominate the paint or just be a second center on the team. This is purely a lockdown. Everything on here is just for lockdown. That's what it is, lockdown. So keep that in mind. So we're gonna continue here. Let's see what the shades are. These don't matter. I mean, it's gonna be wet. Whatever the shades are or whatever the shades are. You got Andrew Wiggins, which is a good defender in real life. He's a tall. They got Jimmy Butler, which we all know is a lockdown defender. I mean, this is the build. Definitely the build. This is definitely the build if you want that. So, like I said before, I want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. I want y'all to like see this build out. I want y'all to like, yeah, like I'm a, actually, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys all the badges you get on this build. If it lets me, I don't know if it still lets me this year, but I'm gonna show you guys all the badges you get on this build and everything. If it lets me, but you know, you start off with all your bronze badges on this build. It actually starts pretty good bronze badges on this build. It actually starts like at a pretty good rate, you know? So, um, yeah, it doesn't let me show the badges, but like I said before, like, this is most definitely the build you want to use. Definitely the build you want to like lock in with. If you're a lockdown and even starting the game or you're playing competitively, this build is very useful. I mean, you get into a lot of bumps and everything. And a lot of you guys are asking that lockdown, what's the best um, motion style to use? I know this is a new feature in the game. The best motion style to use is Kawhi Leonard. You want to get a lot of plucks and you want to pluck people and you want to get a lot of crazy steel animations and just go crazy. If you're looking for that, it's Kawhi Leonard. Use Kawhi Leonard. So, yeah, use Kawhi Leonard. Like, if you're a lockdown, use Kawhi Leonard. If you're other, if you're a point guard, you can use something else. Maybe like a point guard motion style. But if you are a lockdown, please use Kawhi Leonard. A lot of these lockdowns out here trying to figure out what's the best motion style and why they're not getting all these steals or why they're not getting all these plucks and why they're not averaging seven steals per game. Because you're not using Kawhi Leonard. You're using some bullcrap motion style that they give you on default, which is sluggish and it's terrible and it's not made. They put those motion styles in the game certain type of players. Your defender, use a defender motion style. Why would you use a regular default motion style when you have a defender motion style? 
that's just how I think and I've been sliding them. So that's what's better too. I'm not just going to my opinion. I played the game. I saw which one's better and that's the better one. So like I said again, guys, if you like the video, comment, like, subscribe. I will have more builds coming out in the future. Jump, jump shot videos, defensive settings, um, literally everything, anything you need. Let me know. Hear me out. Thank you guys.